Welcome to the old Loomis channel again. I haven't done a video in a while. I thought I'd do a video this time instead of a bunch of pictures. I'm working on another 2AA mag light, but I wanted to do something just a little bit different. Um, I'm going to do a, a, a triple uh, emitter uh, on there, but I also am going to do a side switch. I haven't ever tried a side switch on a 2AA mag light. It'll end up running with one 14500 for power. Uh, but I just, you know, got just got to thinking, hey, I'll do something a little bit different, see if it works. So um, I did the, the normal thing with the head, and uh, that is to do a little bit of uh, mill work on the drill press there to fit in the... Uh, the the triple and also to fit in a copper insert uh, which would hold the driver in there behind um, so I'm gonna have my uh, star and TIR optic and some copper discs in there and then that will set on top of uh, a copper it's gonna be a hollow copper pill and that will go down inside the body. I decided that I ought to be able to do something to help spread the heat a little bit. So um, this copper insert will go right up in, and touch against uh, the top of the body um, and be up inside the head. That way it'll bring some heat down into the body. Then I, I uh, found a a uh, push button uh, from a I don't know like a three dollar light that I had laying around and I made it so it'll fit up inside the uh, side of the mag light and uh, I did a lot of a lot of figuring on this this is a um, uh, half inch copper coupling then there's a piece of half inch pipe down inside to space it and then this is half inch pipe that has been cut so that it's smaller than half inch diameter so it'll fit inside the body okay so it's a tight fit so all those go together and there's they're soldered together uh, to make that one piece unit there then in the center I need something to hold and I decided to go ahead and go with a, uh, a Dr. Jones driver uh, this is a 3 amp. I'll add a couple of, uh, of uh, chips to it to make it a little higher than that. But I wanted to use a Dr. Jones driver and I wanted to use uh, an SMD switch. Just a, a, a momentary switch. Okay. So I went to a, a 3 8 piece of aluminum rod and I made a flat out of that that the uh, switch will set down in um, so that it can slide right into the right into the body that way and it'll be right in once it slides in place um, it'll be right underneath the switch okay um, and that goes right inside that copper then I I went ahead and drilled through the center of it so that I could run my wires and I found some neat little plastic inserts off of eBay and so I drilled so I can put a plastic insert in there so that that will isolate the positive terminal when I put that in when it's all assembled when it's all put together inside that body then that comes to a position where it allows me for just using one 14500 and be at the right length uh, that's the whole idea anyways um, so I have pretty much all of my milling done. Uh, I have most of my uh, uh, sub-assemblies together and I'm going to get started on finishing this thing off. Um, I just thought, like I say, I thought I'd do a little video on it real quick to show and then once it gets done I may pop in again and uh, do a little bit more uh, with the video to finish it off. I have the, the, uh, the three uh, 219 LEDs, uh, the high CRI, and I only have 
One, two, three. I only have three more chips. I was I was trying to to think of maybe taking it to 4.5 amps, but I really don't have enough chips for it. So um, I'll just do with what I got. Anyways, uh, that's it for now. It's just sort of a little teaser until it gets finished off. Thanks for watching.